Hello, this is Apostle Pastor T. Randolph. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know, he is faithful, he is gracious, he is good, and he is kind, and there is no God like the living God. And the wonderful news is, he's our God. Welcome to another episode of I Care. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I tell you, he is so faithful in all things. There's not one thing our God is not faithful in. You know, the Word of God declares something very powerful. Says even when we are not faithful, he remains faithful to himself. Why? Because he cannot deny himself. Amen and glory to God. So no matter what's going on, God's word is going to continue to stand. God's word is going to continue to go forth. Hallelujah to his name. Now, uh, this day I want to share this with you again because we're talking about guidance. God guiding us, giving us guidance. There's nothing that God will hide from you as you love him, as you walk with him. There's nothing he will keep away from you that will help you to walk your life out and the right way before him and have the victories and the joy that he ex ex expects you to have in your life. God is not looking for you to be defeated. He's not looking for you to be down. God wants you strengthened. God wants you to know the power of his might and the joy of living a pure, holy life before him. Now, the scripture teaches us again, I'm reading to you from the century version of the scriptures. It says, uh, so Jesus said to the Jews who believed on him, if you continue to obey my teaching, you are truly my followers. Then you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Truth makes you free. The key here is that we follow the Lord and continue to obey what he tells us to do. And then we will know truth and truth will make us free. Now listen to this. When you talk about uh, to make known, you, 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 you make it known or true to you. This scripture actually is, is like an intimate scripture. Hallelujah where you are really into God and God is really into you. And so because of that, you really come to the place where God makes you free because you get to know that truth. Know is not just a head knowledge, but it becomes, you become intimate with the word of God. Now listen to what it says in, in, in the word here again in 2 Timothy. It says, all scripture, how much? All scripture is given by God and is useful for teaching, for showing people what is wrong in their lives, for correcting faults, and for teaching how to live right. Using the scriptures, the person who serves God will be capable of having all that is needed to do every good work. What you say, I like that. Don't you like that? That when you do what God tells you to do, you keep this commandment, you have everything you need, praise God, to do what you need to do in life. Now watch it. He said all scripture, not, not some scripture, but all scripture. That's why we cannot pick and choose what scripture we're going to abide by and say we're not going to abide by the other one. No, it doesn't work like that. We live by all the scripture. And then I want to repeat to you some of this because I think it's very powerful just in the plainness of what it's saying to us because the scripture, how it is used for teaching, listen to this, for showing people where what is wrong in their lives. How many of you know we need to see the things that are wrong in our lives? So many times we can see what's wrong with somebody else's life, but we cannot see what's wrong with our own lives because guess what? We judge people by what they do, but we judge ourselves by our intentions. I intended to, amen, but I didn't do it either. <laughs> but we give ourselves a pass because we say, well, that was my intention. Well, that's why we don't judge one another. That's why we stay out of judgment because the same thing, the scripture said, the same thing you judge somebody else for is the same thing you do yourself. Amen and glory to God. That was just a side trip for the, for, from the Lord to just bless you with understanding that we are not God. We're not God. We're not God. We have no right to judge anybody in their lives. Amen. Praise his holy name. So it's also for correcting faults and, watch this, for teaching how to live right. The scripture teaches us how to live right. It's, a, it's as simple as that. And so when I need the guidance of the Lord, I turn to him. I turn to his word. That's why the scripture tells us to meditate the word, to learn the words, to study the word. It's so important for us to get the word in us. That's why God told Moses, hallelujah. Uh, he said, that he said, to, I'm sorry, judges and judge. He told our uh, Joshua, he said to meditate the word day and night. When? Day and night that you may observe to do according to all that's written therein. And he says to him, then you shall have, watch this, a successful and a good life. Of course, I'm paraphrasing it. But the bottom line is, God wants you to have a successful and blessed life. Do his word. Meditate his word. Study his word. Because he himself has spoken. And that's what he declares to us. I care. <music>